Hello everyone, this is Azizul Haq. It is my pleasure to present to you the video abstract of my paper on a conjecture of Ijuka. This is going to appear in Journal of Number Theory. Here I am basically inspired by this conjecture of Ijuka. It says that for any prime P and any positive integer M, there is an infinite family of M plus one successive real or imaginary quadratic fields of these forms whose class numbers are all divisible by P. Since the parity of the class number of a quadratic field is determined by the number of prime divisors of its discriminant, so that by using the sinus remainder theorem, we immediately obtain a proof of this conjecture in the case P is equal to two. On the other hand, the main result in this paper of Ijuka gives a proof of this conjecture for imaginary quadratic fields in the case P is equal to three and M is equal to one. In other words, Ijuka proved that there is an infinite family of pairs of imaginary quadratic fields of the form q root over d and q root over d plus one, whose class numbers are all divisible by three. Following this work of Ijuka, Sattopada and Muthakrishnan were able to include the imaginary quadratic fields of the form q root over d plus k square in the list of Ijuka. Very recently, Krishnamurti and Posugulati proved that there is an infinite family of pairs of imaginary quadratic fields of the form q root over d and q root over d plus one whose class numbers are all divisible by a given prime p. In other words, they settled this conjecture for imaginary quadratic fields in the case m is equal to one. In this paper, we mainly prove this theorem. For any odd positive integer n and any odd prime p, there are infinitely many quadruples of imaginary quadratic fields of this form whose class numbers are all divisible by n. This theorem extends the result of Ijuka the result of Chattopada and Muthukrishnan, as well as the result of Krishnamurti and Posupulati in two directions. One from pairs to quadruples of imaginary quadratic fields, and another one is from pair primes to odd integers. It also gives a proof of a weaker version of Ijuka's conjecture for any prime P. In fact, it gives a proof of a weaker version of a generalization of Ijuka's conjecture as a consequence, we proved that there are infinitely many quintuples of imaginary quadratic fields of this form whose class numbers are all divisible by a given odd integer. One of the main ingredient in the proof of main theorem is this theorem. For any odd integers L bigger than one and N bigger than one, let P be N odd prime satisfying these conditions. Suppose that minus D is the square free part of P square minus L power N. If P satisfies this condition, then the class number of this imaginary quadratic field is divisible by N. This extends theorem 1.1 of Sokrovati et al, where the authors assumed that L is N odd prime. So due to this primality condition of L, theorem 1.1 of Sokrovati et al is 
not, not useful in the proof of our main result. So we extend this theorem to this theorem. Here, if we consider P is equal to three or five, in that case, we can easily remove uh, this condition using some existing results on Diophantine equations. So that we have this consequence of this result. We conclude this video abstract by this remark. Suppose that m is a positive integer and pm denotes the largest prime less than or equal to m. And pi m is the number of primes up to m. Then for a given positive or integer n, our construction gives an infinite family of at least pi m plus two tuples of imaginary quadratic fields of these forms whose class numbers are all divisible by n. Thank you so much for listening this video abstract.